I am really excited about our video today. We are going to talk about Tableau CRM's reusable components. Now if you are a Tableau CRM developer, an architect or have worked in Tableau CRM space, you know you have same versions of dashboard in your Salesforce instance. Let me give you an example. You have the same dashboard by country, by business or by some other dimension, right? And as a developer, you create that same widget for multiple dashboards. Now component allows you to create that widget once and use it across multiple dashboards. This means your development time is significantly reduced and the user experience stays the same. Sounds exciting, right? All right, let's jump over to my screen and take a look at a live example. So now I have logged in to my developer instance. I have two dashboards. Again, these are very simple dashboards, not visually appealing. The goal of this video is to show you how to use reusable components. So I have dashboard one here. It has a horizontal bar chart and a vertical bar chart. Right. Uh, I see horizontal bar chart where I see number of opportunities by sales stage and I see number of opportunities by the billing country. Right. Very simple chart. Now let's assume that there's another business who needs these two charts, but they also need additional information. So dashboard two, right in dashboard two, I have these two charts, the same chart, exact same look and feel, same colors. Everything is the same but it also has a timeline chart. Now typically your process would be, you would create this dashboard, you would have these widgets, right? Chart one, chart two, you would create it, write your queries, uh, create visualizations and, and, and put it on this dashboard. A month from now, another business approaches you because they love the look and feel of dashboard one and they say, hey, we want this, but we want it specifically tailored to our business so we want those two charts, but we also want an additional timeline chart. And now you have to rewrite the code for these two charts again, right? Such a waste of time, right? Although you might copy and paste it, it's again, you are maintaining the code. Now let's assume one year from now, some changes are introduced in your business. Typically you would have to go and hunt every dashboard that uses these widgets and then make changes to your query. And that's where components come into play. So what we're going to do is let's go to dashboard one. Okay. And let's add a component and we'll delete these two uh, widgets in just a minute. So I'm going to add a component here and Salesforce is going to ask me what component do I want to add? And we haven't created component. So let's create it live. So firstly, I'm going to click on create new component. I am going to click on create query. I know I want DTC opportunity. So I'm going to click here. The first query was count of rows by stage. So I'm going to go here and click on stage. This looks exactly like the chart that was used in dashboard one and dashboard two, right? So I'm going to call it sales stage and click on done, drag and drop it here. Okay. Sounds good. Okay, I'm going to create one more query here. Same thing, DTC opportunity. And here we're going to use the billing country. Again, the same chart. So I'm going to say count of ops by billing country. Click on done. I'm going to drag and drop this here. Expand this. Right. And I'm going to click on save. I'm going to say sales component. You can call it by whatever name and I'm going to click on save. Now let's go back to dashboard one and see what has happened. Let's go here. Sales component, the one that we just created and click on done. It's the exact same chart. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go here, click delete, click delete, bring this here and expand this. Right. I got the same exact same two charts on this particular page. I'm going to click on save. And now I can go to dashboard two and I can delete these two things. Now I know these are two different widgets, but I can use the same component here. So let's do this. I can go here, select a component. Let's resize it. 
resize it let's go here sales component and that's it right now if you want this particular visual to be catered to a particular country you can apply global filter on this particular dashboard and these charts will be filtered according to that global filter it's fascinating it's mind-blowing right so you've created two different dashboards by writing code once if you had five different dashboards or if you had ten different dashboards you would still write code once you would create that one component and reuse it across multiple dashboards and that's where this uh, functionality becomes very very powerful uh, again there are multiple use cases for this you can essentially create an entire dashboard I have two widgets here I could drag a filter here right I could uh, add a link here dates here text I can create multiple pages on this component right page 2 page 2 right and I can if I had more components here that's how this this component would look like right uh, it would show me uh, those filters it would show me these different tabs on this particular component so again another thing is there's a limit on the number of tabs you can have on the dashboard having components can allow you to have more tabs on the dashboard by by building those tabs inside components and that's again where this becomes very powerful so again like i said it's very very simple to use uh, but it is very powerful so i do encourage you to start using components in your dashboard use it in your practice today uh, and tell me how you like this video uh, if you use this in one of your projects tell me if it was useful if you found certain limitations or certain use cases where, it did, where this did not work let me know uh, and thank you for watching this video and uh, we'll come back with another set of videos soon